Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, we are uploading a lot of videos and I don't know if I'm sorry for that, but if you're a person that is annoyed that I'm uploading a lot, I apologize for that. Uh, the World Cup is coming out and to be honest guys, one of the best times of FIFA of the entire year is coming, which is in a couple of weeks, Black Friday. But first, you know, there's this new thing this year where we've got the World Cup. We've got a World Cup mode coming out very soon. Uh, and we have some incredible content coming out on Friday. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe. There's going to be a ton of content coming out over the next month, two months, team of the year. A lot of stuff happening. This is probably going to be the peak of FIFA 23 for the next two to three months. And uh, yeah. Also, check out the Twitch link in the description down below, guys. We're going to be streaming a ton over the next two to three months. We have been streaming a lot. A ton more streams to come. So... Path to Glory is coming out. I like to make videos over promos that are relevant, right? Not every promo is something that we should be talking about on YouTube. But uh, the World Cup promo is coming to foot on Friday. And we have been confirmed with our first promo that is going to be coming out this Friday. We have a loading screen for it. Two days and 22 hours for Path to Glory. I'm very excited. I think this is a promo to really look forward to. Um, we're going to take a look at anything and everything from the market uh predictions for this promo and previous experiences so what we're going to be doing first of all is looking at previous experiences and i've got a full screen out of this because i'm i'm full screen in it now path to glory guys started in fifa uh 18 and what we basically had was a spring and a winter edition so we had the first edition which basically came out um in the winter uh, they dropped path to glory cards in the winter uh, and it, it was interesting because this was a World Cup year, FIFA 18, and they had just dropped these cards uh, in the winter. So they were basically uh, live items in the winter. Uh, came out a bit earlier. You could see player selection between Gabriel Jesus, Marquinhos, Giuliano, Payet, Sane, Coman, uh, Varane, Bakayoko. Uh, Bakayoko, obviously very meta player on FIFA 18. Hoedes, Stindl, Wagner, uh, Renato Sanchez, Elshar, Carvalho, so many players. Uh, and this was obviously, <clears throat> you know, the winter edition was, you can see the path to glory, uh, FAQ. I probably got a full screen out of this, but we can, it does not pull up. Oh, it's not working. Well, they took down the FAQ. Well, isn't that EA? So also a spring edition guys with some crazy players, right? Icardi, Iguain, Alexandro, Firmino, Willian, uh, Vardy, Martial, Sterling, Dembele, uh, really good selection for the spring players. Gundawan, Goretzka. I think by that point too, EA really figured out who was really popular in game. Guys, this Isco ended up being a 97 rated uh, at the end of the World Cup. So it's pretty crazy. A lot of the upgrades that these players can go ahead and get. Um, it's a very exciting time. Um, and I also wanted to kind of go back and talk about FIFA 21. Because FIFA 21 was the second time we saw Path to Glory. Uh, yes, guys, the second time. And in FIFA 21, number one, my face cam was way too big for my monitor. I don't know why it was like that. But... Um, I always kind of did these content videos in FIFA 21 and I went through, uh, we had Hernandez and objectives. This was for team two. Uh, this was festival of football. This is kind of the summer promo we had in FIFA 18. Uh, you had a Jack Grealish card there, which was a path to glory. Uh, this card I remember ended up being a, uh, 95, I think, um, by the time the upgrades were done, you had a brand new, uh, I think this is also, we had some brand new season players. You also had a brand new, um, team going into packs so you had Klosterman um you had Pogba which was a you know a crazy card Felix right so player selection is there and basically what Path to Glory is is it's EA's way of putting I think live cards on the market for the World Cup uh or the Euro or whatever it, it, it may be right obviously um this was the, the Path to Glory we had in FIFA 21 was for the Euro and for Copa America so you know, a lot of this promo was really about getting those cards, cards that have potential to upgrade. Murata, um, Alexis Sanchez was a really cool card. And uh, yeah, that's what that promo was about in FIFA 21. So wanted to point that out because I think it's number one relevant. And this is how they did it in FIFA 21. So I'm going to go off of how they did it in FIFA 21 rather than how they did it in FIFA 18. Because I feel like in FIFA 21, it's a little bit more recent. It's probably more relevant towards what EA could be doing uh, this year. So the way that they did it in FIFA 21, uh, they got released as an event launch card. So this example, I don't know exactly who it is. Uh, it might be Jack Grealish. It, it might be Jack Grealish. I'm not sure because I do remember. No, Grealish we just saw was a 91, right? I, I don't remember. Was it Grealish just a 91? 
So basically, EA is going to release a card with a boost. Um, and if the team gets three wins in the tournament, so, you know, with the World Cup, each team is going to play three group stage matches. Um, if they win all three, the player got a plus two. Uh, if they won a fourth match, which would mean, you know, let me give you an example. Let's say Brazil make it to the semifinals of this World Cup. So they're going to play a round of 16 match. Uh, they're going to play a round of eight match to get to the the, sem uh, the semifinals, the last four. Now, listen up. So in this case, let's say Brazil wins two games in their group and they tie one match. And let's say Marquinhos is going to get a card. Just for example, let's just say it's Marquinhos. So in the case of this way that EA did it, if Marquinhos had a 91 rated card that EA gave, they gave him a boost to start with. If they won three games, he would get a plus two overall based on this system. Now, the third win would have come in the round of 16. So then he would have gotten the plus two. If they won that match, they would have had a fourth win. Then he would have got another plus one and everyone would have been a plus one. So in this case of, you know, the, the way that this system worked um, to get the max overall, you would have to get five total wins, which would mean you'd have to win, you know, you could win all your group matches and then you can win two knockout ma matches. You could also lose a group. You'd have to win another knockout. So you'd basically have to get to the final, I think. Um, round of 16, round of four, round of eight, then round of four. So you'd have to win three in there and then two in the group to get the five. And then there was a six win bonus, which was a five, five, which means basically you'd have to win all three group matches, win the round of 16, round of eight, round of four, um, Round of 16, round of 8, then round of 4. So if you got to the final and you won all your group matches, you get a 5-5 too. So this was a nice twist that EA did. This was a part of Festival of Football. And this was the last time we had the Path to Glory. I think EA is going to do something similar to this. I do because I think they killed it on this. I think they really knocked it out of the park. We had some incredible cards. And if you look at some of the cards that were there, by the time this promo ended, you had a 99 Firmino that was 5-5 or 5-4. I don't think they got the full upgrade. Verratti was a five-star, five-star player. He got one of the craziest cards in FIFA history. Now, don't expect the cards to be this good because this promo is happening uh, in the middle of the year. So it's not in the middle of the summer. It's not going to be anything crazy like this. Um, Acuna was one of the, the favorites of the community. Five-star, five-star for him. Um, obviously, Argentina won Copa America. Brazil was in the final. Uh, this was one of the greatest cards we had ever seen in FIFA history. Um, Hazard got a 98. Uh, Foden had a 98. Uh, you know, Foden's card was 4-4. I think he got the max boost, but England didn't gather enough wins. So I don't think he got the 5-5, five, five, but he was 4-4. Four, four. Crazy Foden card. We have Vinny Jr. getting all the way up to a 97. Um, Five-star, four-star still, regardless, one of the best cards. So overall, you look at all these cards. I mean, Paredes was a 5-5 five, five player. Uh, Urente was super popular as a right back. Um, all these cards got upgrades. I mean, even the cards from nations that didn't do as well still got nice upgrades. Um... You know, and people were still interested in them and still using them. Now, some cards got, I think, no upgrades at all. Um, so that also can happen. But that's also the nice part about players having a little bit of a pre-boost. You know, if they come upgraded, people are already interested in them. And then they can watch them and they can get future upgrades. So I think Path to Glory is actually one of the best promos in FIFA. So I'm really excited that it is coming. And this card design is also beautiful. That does not hurt. Now, in terms of... Uh, preparing for this, you know, promo and looking at this promo in terms of like an, an objective perspective. I'm grabbing my controller here. Um, you know, there's a lot to talk about. There's definitely a lot to talk about and there's a lot to be excited for. Um, you know, realistically, I think that this promo is going to come out on Friday with all of the madness. And I think it's going to go a little bit overlooked. There's going to be some crazy cards. But again, this Friday, we are getting these insane, insane pre-order uh, packs that are going to be dropping, right? So that's going to be a lot of the main... I think the main uh, excitement is going to be coming out on that Friday. And people are going to be really looking at those. Um, I want to see if anyone kind of did a prediction on Twitter for Path to Glory. I mean, obviously, today we've just gotten the confirmation that it is going to be in the in the game. Um, I, I see one. So this is a prediction. I mean, this is nice that there is a prediction. So shout out to who are we giving a shout out to? Foot Slash um, for this prediction. So he's got Guardiola in here. Aronson. I mean, this is a little bit more of what you're going to expect with this promo. Musiala. I think Musiala is totally going to get a card uh, for Germany. Musiala. And you can tell they're pre-upgraded, right? Mendy, um, 86. Mendy's got a gold card right now at 83. Felix, 88. Neymar, 92. Um, it, it probably is also going to be players from, you know, 
the nation that are you know really representing them or or, or top players i think you know ea may go the route of picking a player on the on the squad that is uh really meta in fifa but i think ea will try to keep it a little bit more linked towards popular players or you know, maybe team captains um kappa guardiola so there's a lot there's a lot of there's a lot of flexibility there's a lot of ways ea could go about it we don't know exactly what ea is going to go ahead and choose for the players but you should expect it to look something like this obviously you can see from this prediction all these players have like plus two plus three plus fours and they have more potential live upgrades you know to to really come so this is going to be exciting i'm also very excited to see the objectives and the SBCs for these players um there hasn't been any leaks yet about this promo team we just now have the confirmation that path of glory is coming out I wanted to give you guys a little bit of just kind of a backstory about, you know, what it is. The FAQ actually finally loaded. So in FIFA 18, the actual FAQ, I couldn't find one for FIFA 21. 23 more players contending for a spot on their national teams will be available in packs as special path to glory items. While each player fights to prove, prove his worth throughout the current season, these items will get automatic upgrades for every team of the week, minute of the match hero or record breaker they earn. Now, this is something interesting because obviously there was a winter edition of Path to Glory on FIFA 18, and that's why Isco ended up being like a 97. He came out, I think, in the spring, but it's still why he got so many upgrades. It would be interesting to see if EA does the same because what I will say about this is that this was posted November 10th. Look, this is this promo is coming out the 11th, right? So this is about the same time. So maybe EA is going to release a bunch of cards without too many upgrades, but they're live throughout the whole year. And I think if you were EA, it wouldn't be a bad thing to do that because i think it would keep people even more engaged and interested in the cards throughout the year i just think that is overall probably a pretty good idea um so they would be able to also get you know if it's not the route of upgrades for the for the world cup maybe it's the route of their live items so it's going to be one of the two i don't think it'll be combined so you either have these items are going to be boosted and also live for the whole year so man of the match team of the week all that or they're going to be directly relevant for just this world cup and it's going to be a team-based win-based thing it's going to be one of the two. I don't think it's going to be both. Um, and what is a live item, right? What is Path to Glory? Uh, so also, what else we got here? Anything relevant? I don't think anything relevant. I just think that point is is definitely, you know, like worthwhile to talk about because, you know, it, it's a similarity in terms of the time of the year that we are currently at, uh, November, and when they had released it before November, right? And obviously just weird that we have the World Cup still in December. I know November, December is a weird time for the World Cup. Um we're going to talk a little bit about the market because that's the next thing I want to talk about because the market is going to react very, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see what the market happens on Friday. So today we got a uh, hero pack or yesterday. And to be honest, guys, I was on the wrong side of it because I was trading with some cards. Today, the market finally got up to a really nice part, uh, spot. I was trading a lot of cards. I did manage to sell some for some profit, but like, for example, I got stuck with some Iconis that I bought at 36. He dropped to like 32. So the market took a little bit of a hit because the hero pack came out to be like 100k. A lot of people went ahead and did it. And obviously, when people do SBCs on FIFA, you know, people are selling cards to be able to, to afford to do an SBC. That's kind of how it works. So, you know, that's why today we did see a little bit of a dip in the market. You know, overall, I'll give you an example like Smith Rowe that I was trading with, right? I bought, I was buying him at like 46, selling him at 51. The market was super high this morning. Um, and just with one 100k SBC, the market took a really big drop. Um, and Smith Rowe was, you know, 39K like an hour ago. He's back to like 41, 42, but still a lot of listings on the market. And a lot of this is because, you know, people are selling up to be able to get the coins, you know, to go ahead and do an SBC like this hero pack, right? That's very much a thing on FIFA, right? Messi is, uh, Messi is 160. Messi, Messi is lower. Messi is 150, 140. Uh, a lot of people were selling Messi to do the pack. He was 170 yesterday. So there was a big panic buy because people were bored. The Monday content is usually crazy and it was a little bit delayed. So we got this hero pack. Now, relating towards the market this Friday, you know, obviously we're going to get definitely a lot of these cards coming into the game. Everybody's also going to get a pre-order pack with that World Cup hero in it. So that's another player that people are going to probably want to put in their teams because many of them are usable. I've spoken about that pack a million times. We've done videos on it if you want to check it out. Um, so that pack's coming in. You've got a Path to Glory promo team coming in. You'll probably have a player SBC. Um, you'll also probably have some objectives. So I think there's going to be a lot of shifted interest from a lot of these previous cards, whether it's out of position, whether it's uh, previous promo teams. I think a lot of people are really just going to focus their energy on um, the newer promo team. I think that's just where it's going to be. We've got so many things happening. Uh, we've also on on uh, on on this uh, you know upcoming Friday. Not only all of this, we're going to have these kind of like replacement World Cup cards going into packs. Um, that's a really big deal. 
uh, because that's also going to bring in more supply. And what it really reminds me of is we used to have these like Champions League cards uh, in packs all the time. And they were like, you know, there was double the amount of players. Regardless of all this, I think a lot of people are still waiting to buy cards. I think a lot of people are still waiting uh, with a lot of packs, which means usually when you have packs saved, that does mean more coins are going to be coming into the market when you do have people saving packs. So it would give another reason where I do think, you know, you've got players right now where like Mbappe has been dropping for like three, four days. People have been just selling, selling, selling uh, with a player like him. He went down to one, two, four at the lowest. Uh, he started going back up a little bit and then the hero pack came out. He's back down a bit. But I think Mbappe has really hit his bottom. Um, I do think there's going to be a good amount of panic at some point when we get closer to this time where you could see Mbappe at 1-2. But I'm expecting huge rises. Like, I'm expecting Mbappe's goal to go to, like, 1-4, um, you know, about a 200k rise. Anybody who's really meta and super in demand, I think, is still going to stand the test of this promo. Um, you know, even out-of-packs players that are super popular, um, I think, are going to do really well. Now, what you have to be a little bit careful with is that if we... I've got to pull up this uh, FAQ that EA had tweeted out. Um, let me see if I can find it on EA's Twitter because there's something they put in there that I, I just want to speak about because I think it's... Uh, watch the full deep dive. Uh, let me see. World Cup pitch notes because this is going to be really important relating to the market because this is something that not a lot of people are really, really kind of talking about. I saw something in the pitch notes the other day that grabbed my attention so let's go to the ultimate team section now so not so we've got a new season which has been delayed by the way but it, well it's not been delayed season one has been delayed but season season two everyone's gonna get a world cup player item in, in a starter pack right when you log in so there's just a lot of there's gonna be no matter what right these previous promos i just think there's gonna be more shifted interest in some of the world cup people are gonna want these new cards um here we go there will be plenty of additional opportunities to earn FIFA World Cup player items in Season 2. Uh, select packs that you earn from rewards, store packs. We're looking for some special wording here, and I can't I can't find it. Um, obtain FIFA World Cup player items to complete swaps objectives. No, we're not looking for that yet. There was something in here that was specifically talking about how some of the players that are going to get put into the, the packs are actually going to be boosted. Um... So that's what I'm really trying to find here because that was something that caught my attention massively uh, that they were saying basically there's going to be cars that are going to be going into packs, but I think they had said like some of them were going to be boosted, uh, which is, you know, obviously a big deal. And if that does actually like pan out, um, that's a massive thing on foot because that would also mean that many of the cards coming in to the game uh, and going into packs might be like, little inform boost or stuff like that you know that that's kind of a <laughs> that's kind of a big deal so if that does happen uh it will be very interesting not 100 percent certain here what are limited uh fifa world cup player items will the content be limited how can they be earned which players will see them players selected for their national team's fifa world cup will receive a limited time fifa world cup player item the release of fifa world cup player items may include players that participate in the qualifying stages of the world cup the pool of fifa player items is subject to change uh, players are expected to be added at a later time. Player items based on players who participate in the qualifying stages of the FIFA World Cup but are not included in the final squads will be removed from packs. Um, okay, I don't know if there's anything about that said there, but I swear I had seen something before that was saying that some of the players might actually, ha like the captains might have a boost or something. So if that does happen, that's going to be a lot more trouble for the market. But the, the bottom line is that you're also going to have all these other players kind of going into packs, which I think is just naturally going to cause some some just doubt and panic on the market. So, oh, I've unlocked a player. That's very nice. Yeah, so watch out for that. I mean, I think in terms of the market, you've got so many people saving packs and so many people waiting to buy for so long now that you are going to have some buyback on Friday night. But it's just going to be with very select players. It's going to be with your normal players that are meta that people are going to be buying back. Um, for the most part, I think a lot of people will shift interest into category and some of these newer promo items, guys. And that's really what, what our focus is looking towards next. So, we will have to see what Path to Glory holds. Just wanted to kind of do a little bit of a brief video looking at a prediction and looking at the past with Path to Glory. It's a really fun promo, and it's very similar to Ones to Watch. It's just a little bit more than Ones to Watch, which is great because I think Ones to Watch has been crazy this year and really dope. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Appreciate you guys. See you guys later. Peace.